the greatest uh, uh, challenge we have is uh, organizing ourselves in terms of what is the next step for the future in uh, getting some of that water back to our areas because uh, the deltas, the three deltas, are all drying up. Welcome to uh, Juan Scalen and Treaty 6. I'm hoping to make my presence uh, here uh, felt as an inspiration for the people living out there that uh, not to give up hope. I mean, the, the Peace Delta has, is really dried up and is in really bad shape. And the Res Delta is following suit. But I think if we get together and try to, try to work together to try to combat some of the problems we're having in the river and delta systems, working together with scientists and the people on the land, we can help alleviate this problem somehow. Today, listening to the other deltas, and I knew they were in trouble, uh, it seems like they're more worse off than we are. But we're not that far off of uh, the problems that they're having. And uh, if we can uh, go back and, and try to do things that, uh, you know, could help, help that delta, because it's, it's, it's going to be a, a really challenging in the future, I think, to uh, try and maintain water in there. And, and uh, we know we need water. It's a pretty important thing. It's very uh, interesting to see that people share the same concerns across deltas, are experiencing the same things, and, um, and would like to see some, something done, uh, things done to help them protect their homelands, which are the deltas, uh, so that uh, they uh, persist into the future, and that, so that there's a future for the next generation coming up as well. And, and I think the other part of this gathering too that's, that's great is to see the uh, involvement of the youth which are that next generation, and, and so that the youth um, and the, um, the rest of us can learn from each other. Uh, so it's great to hear the ideas that the youth have about their deltas and what, how they experience them and what they'd like to see for their future with regard to the deltas. I've got lots of ideas of my own for rejuvenating interest in the delta, and I see a different future for the delta. So I've been, I'm really interested in like ecotourism and therapy and medicinal plants is my passion, so, and the science part. So I see there's a lot of like hope in the Delta still. Maybe the old ways they don't see it as much and I'm, I see things in a new light. So I have hope for the Delta. I would say that my own work really is all about trying to understand and um, trying, trying to understand how these delta systems work, um, how important they are, some of their important functions, um, and then how important those functions are to the people that live there, that rely on these deltas for food and water and their, their livelihoods. And so when I go to a delta, I'm really trying to understand and I'll do anything I can to understand those deltas better. And so that may involve um, biophysical measurements that, that I would normally make um, as a scientist, but it also means uh, engaging with people and hearing their stories and understanding um, how they know their land. And when I, um, when I go out on the land and water with someone, um, the teaching begins immediately. One of the fundamental messages that came out of the last few days 
and that the deltas are part of who people are. It's part of their identity. They live off, people live off the land. They get food from the land. It's a place where they connect with, with their children and pass on their knowledge of the land. And bringing those messages back and sharing that with all of the partners we work with, whether through government, um, within the communities, with academic partners, non-government partners, foundation funders, sharing that message so that we continue to advocate for research and monitoring and actions to protect those deltas. But I would say the, the collaboration piece and the part working together was the message that came loud and clear. Well, the traveling exhibit was proposed by the SENS group as a way, you know, instead of creating a book or a document, a way to make something visible that could go to the communities. So the first idea is that it would travel to each of the Delta communities and that as it travels more items would get added to it. So what we're doing during Delta Days is sort of collecting the voices of the people who are here, the ideas they have, and then when it travels maybe adding other voices from the communities to the traveling exhibit. Delta Days is really important because it was an opportunity this year to, for us to connect and take action. It's how it's differed a little bit from the Delta Days we've had in the past. Connection this year meant that we got to bring the three Deltas together for the first time. And the significance in that is that the, the communities from the Deltas got to tell their respective stories to each other. And in telling that respective story, everybody realized that there are common things that are happening across all three deltas, which is pretty remarkable. And by hearing those common stories, we can now take action and tell that common story to more people across Canada.